In this Google tutorial, I'm going to show you about Google Calendar, specifically um, how to adjust the notifications on your calendars, how to set up Google Tasks, tasks and how to quick add events. So the first thing I just want you to take note of is um, any of the calendars that are created through Google Classroom automatically have the assignments and such put on there for you. So right now I'm in the fourth. I have the fourth grade ELA fifteen sixteen calendar selected, and so if you look at it, it will show you and your students. So that's another thing to keep in mind that you can use this with your students and teach them how to use it to keep themselves organized. Uh, but it shows exactly which assignments are due on which days. If I go to the agenda view, it's going to show me my assignments um, in a list. So again, this could be very helpful for you to manage your classes and also for your students um, to manage themselves and their assignments. So if you just click on a date, let's say um, December 31st, I can quickly add an event to December 31st. So I'm going to say um, CFIP meeting at 8 a.m. Okay, and now if I just click event, it's going to be on my calendar. Now, all I have to do is click on it again. It picked up that it was 8 a.m. whenever I typed it in like that, so it has it scheduled direct, like just like that for me. Um, if I needed to add more of the details, I could just go to edit um, my event, and all the details will come up there. Also, if I wanted to add it to my calendar, so right now it's on the fourth grade ELA calendar. If I wanted to add it to my heart, Larry, I just push copy to my calendar. So if I, a lot of people will use their um, their email calendar as the main one and do this copy to my calendar so that all the events that they put on any of their calendars are all visible on that one. Uh, personally, I just prefer to keep them separate and go to view whichever calendar I'm particularly looking at at that time, but again, the choice is yours. Now, the other thing that's really cool is that I can click on the date and I can add a task. So let's say I need to um, bring an artifact for CFIP. So gather artifact for CFIP, and I have my due date in there, and I can put a note on there if I want, um, Native American Writings and create task. Now that I've created the task, it shows up right on my calendar as when it's due. Now um, I have the tasks view over here on the left. If I close that out, I can go over here um, to, excuse me, that was on the right. Now I can go over to the left to my tasks. And when I click on that, it's going to show all the tasks that I have and then the list over here. Now if I click done, like I check it off, then it removes it from my task list as, list as well. So again, this is something that's very helpful um, to keep me organized, but could also be helpful in organizing the students. Now, I talked to you a little bit about notifications before, but if you go into any specific calendar and click the down arrow, you'll see one that says edit notifications. So when you go under edit notifications, you can adjust um, how things are sent to you and, and which notifications you receive. So the first thing that you can do is uh, add a general notification. So you can actually have it pop up or send you an email 10 minutes before every event. Or you can change that to 20 minutes or a day or whatever it is, however you want to do it. Um, so that would, that would be like a blanket notification that applies to all the events that you have on your calendar. You can add notifications for full day events. So again, you can choose pop-up or email, how many days ahead of time, and at what time you want it to come in. Down here, you can um, be alerted whenever different things are done to your calendar. So if someone um, adds a new event, you could have it email or SMS. So you could set it up. Um, I don't have my... Yeah, I don't have my phone number set up to this, um, but if you did have your phone number linked, your cell phone number linked to this account, then you could get an SMS message um, alerting you whenever a new event was uh, created, when it was changed, when something was canceled, if someone responded as either accepting or denying an event that you invited them to, um, and then your daily agenda, you can have it set to pop up too. So there are lots of really great features in Google, Cla uh, Google Calendar that allow you um, to kind of stay on top of things, things that you can set up ahead of time, and so that they constantly remind you. Um, and so, you know, you can, even if you're adding things for months ahead of time, if you put a reminder in, it'll pop up for you. So um, lots of really great features for that. 
Up next, I'm going to show you basically how to keep your calendar organized, uh, how to subscribe and unsubscribe from calendars, how to hide calendars on your list, and then how to change the settings on each particular calendar.